Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This video is about context text and the language system When we consider language There are three important aspects that we need to take into account These are the context, the text, and the language system Three of them cannot be separated each other When you analyze text there is context and also the language system that construct the system which construct the language talking about the function of language in context language occurs within a context we can think of a context as all the things which influence act upon and are connected with the language choices made when creating or interpreting text by context we interpret the text language plays an active part in the formation of the context the language which consists of the dialect the vocabularies all of related plays an active part in the formation of the context the form the tone the stress intonation and so on all of the parts of the language even part of speech we can examine the linguistic context in terms of three main function. We use language to understand our experiences of the world. We call this the additional function because it is concerned with the construction of ideas and formation. Context which talking ab which is talking about additional function it is can be it can be called field field uh, which consists of setting time topic something about the situation situation of conversation the situation of um, advertisement and so on we use language to interact in the world we call this the interpersonal function because it is concerned with ways in which we use language to interact with other human beings interpersonal function it relates to tenor in holiday in context so the tenor itself which has a function of interpersonal talking about the participants the status of participant the authority of participant and something about the participants and also how the participants produce the language which shows then the authority of him or her we use language to build up texts that are coherent and cohesive this is called the textual function of language by the textual we analyze the written text or spoken spoken text i mean so talking about the spoken text it can be virtual or by phone or face to face this language for these functions in different contexts we can distinguish two important aspects of a context these are the context of culture and the context of situation Talking about context of culture, we develop particular ways of looking at the world through language and we use language to construct the values 
beliefs and attitudes they are typical of culture so in this case when you analyze the language produced by participants we cannot spirit it from the culture uh, remember we've ever discussed interpersonal communication intercultural communication i mean in ccu cross-cultural understanding we learn the values we learn also the verbal patterns non-verbal communication right and also the relationship one to another we use the word culture to describe the ways in which a particular group of people views and acts upon the world the context of culture determines the ways in which we make language choices to make meaning particular cultures determine the type of text which are produced we can identify the cultural values in a text through the language choices that have been made by the context of culture we understand what language we use to particular situation to the particular place for instance you use the language of paracetamol aspirin um, in a context or in a topic of um, sickness right but sometimes in it is also used in a hospital talking about but the particular language usually used in a hospital such as examination and then um, injury and then injection yeah um medicine yeah something like this sometimes they the doctor and a nurse use codes which cannot be interpreted by people out out of the circle yeah okay the context of culture determines the ways in which make language choices to make meaning particular cultures determine the types of texts which are produced we can identify the cultural values in a text through the language choices that have been made the language of the text positions the language users in particular ways to react to what is being spoken or written about within any context of culture there are different situations these different situations determine how the resources of the language system will be used to communicate meaning so by the culture you use some dialects particular dialects and in a factory for instance using a certain codes cannot be interpreted by people out of that community yeah it is called language system the different situations used including context including the text the words itself and also the particular language for instance a news broadcast on radio will use language differently from a tv news broadcast and differently again from the way in which the same news would be presented in a newspaper so a news anchor for instance when they when they produce the language and record it then it is broadcasted to tv it's different and the differences is from um, the 
the language they produce from the intonation, the tone, and the language system, how they construct the language. Yeah, that's different from written text. Even though the news which delivered which is delivered is the same when we use language in a particular context of situation there are three main factors which influence the choices that we make these are subject matter it is called field roles and relationships it is called tenor mode of communication Uh, we have discussed it just now above field have a function of additional function and tenor has a function of interpersonal and mode has a function of textual okay now we discuss about the field First, the subject matter or field of a text is related to what the text is about. That includes what is happening, who or what is involved, and the circumstances in which it takes place. For instance, a text might be concerned with going shopping, learning how to skip, or forecasting the weather. Subject matter or field uh, can be called the circumstances we analyze from the discourse we analyze the circumstances the situation and also then we can draw it into a topic and next talking about roles and relationships which is called tenor when we create and interpret a text we are also concerned with the ways that the roles and relationships between those involved in the situation affect the language choices that we make. We can interpret the text because of the role and relationships between participants who are involved in the situation and the language used by them. Is there specific language they use? Is there any dialects in a used in that community? The dialects used can be in uh, every places, every community, not always in a neighborhood, but also can be in a university, for instance, or in a hospital or in a factory or company yeah we cannot um, we cannot separate it yeah into the culture okay and the tenor of situation determines the ways that we address each other or the ways in which we ask and answer questions or give comments it is about the authority that I have uh, told you before. A judge, for instance, asks questions about the witness of the accused while the witness answered the questions using a form of address such as your honor. And the last but not least is mode of communication. The function used is a uh, called textual function when we use language to communicate we may use spoken or written language when we use spoken language we make different choices from the language system from those which we make when we use written language we use the word mode to refer to this differing means of communication spoken and written so in this case in a mode of communication you we can identify 
whether the discourse is spoken or written and if it is spoken using face to face or virtual communication and so on and now we are talking about text when we use language to communicate we create and interpret text we can define text as any meaningful stretch of spoken or written language when we use language to write we are obviously creating text when we read we are interpreting text when we talk and listen we are also creating and interpreting text so in this case text it is much more about um, the language we use to communicate we create and then we interpret it we produce language and then we take the meaning we use the term text to refer both to spoken and written language we use it to describe such things as a recount of tennis match a dinner time conversation a uh, newspaper article, a supermarket sign, a poem, a play script, or a picture book. A text is always a product of a particular context of culture and context of situation. We need to understand a text in terms of the context in which it is produced. The differences in text occur because of the choices that we make from the language system. When we read the text from the book, we are not only concerned to the content, right? But also to the context, to the to the participants involved, to the to the place, to the situation, and so on, and all, and even to the language. The language system, the in creating and interpreting text, we draw on the resources in the language system. The resources in the language system consist of all the structural pattern, particular words, sounds, and symbols from which we can select to make particular meanings. The language system is the sum of all the choices available within language. Again, not um only the text and context but we also consider the language system how the language produced how the language structured so it indicates grammar how the words coherence and cohesion each other so in the language system we refer also to the semantic level besides grammar the semantic level comprises the meaning options available in language such things as ideas information issues opinions events and emotions are organized within the whole text this takes into account such aspects as patterns of causality ordering of ideas Patterns of time sequence, cohesion, and point of view. In a semantic level, how we understand the words by dictionary meaning. The semantic level is realized through overall text structures and particular grammatical patterns. We can take the meaning of it from dictionary and also from the structure the tenses of the structure for instance patterns of causality and time sequences might be indicated through the staging or tabs of a text and expressed through the choice of conjunctions besides the semantic level in the language system it also have it also has the grammatical level the grammatical level comprises the possibility comprises the possible structure of words, phrases and clause. It is mainly, mainly concerned with how additional interpersonal and textual meanings realized. In this grammatical level, we 
take whether the text is logic because of it cohesive it takes into account patterns relating to processes participants and circumstances patterns relating to mood and modality as well as thematic and cohesive devices please uh, you memorize again the systemic functional grammar you have learned on the last semester in functional linguistics there is a close relationship between the semantic and grammatical level meanings are realized through the grammatical structure yeah there is close relationships yeah in a between semantics and grammatical level we can we can understand the text because it makes sense because of because because of semantic uh, because the level of semantic we can take the meaning from dictionary and also from the grammar meanings are realized through the grammatical structures and the graphological or phonological level graphology is concerned with the writing system of language including the word processing functions of computers it is graphology level if we if we take a look at the written the writing system Includes individual written letters of the alphabet, letters in a particular combination, spelling, punctuation, and layout. Phonology, if we concern to the verbal, verbal language, it is concerned with the sound system of language. Phonological, phonology includes individual sounds and sounds in combination, syllables, intonation patterns, rhythm and punctuation marker, markers of speech such as stress pause and emphasis so it is about how meanings are realized at the grammatical level